So from the book, I've created some various bits of artwork. The story of the Falklands War has been told in books, documentaries and films, but this is the first time it's been depicted as a series of cartoon illustrations. Will Kevins is the artist. He's a former Welsh guardsman who was sent to the Falklands when he was just 19 years old. So I think it's what you do as a teenager really does form you. And I spent a lot of time trying to forget about the Falklands because it was like an unpleasant experience. Um, I lost friends over there and I just wanted to put it at the back of my mind. What I did, I thought as a sort of catharsis really, was just to, to start writing all of this down in a book. The book is called My Life in Pieces and tells the story of the conflict through Will's eyes as a young infantryman on the battlefield for the first time. Our section was split in half and we were told to take your mate's Bergen, your Bergen, so I had a Bergen on my front, a Bergen on my back, and we marked single file to go and drop the Bergens off at a helicopter marshalling point. And uh, we're just walking along. You can imagine you've got about 200 pounds of kit on like that. You know? And uh, I just disappeared into the ground. And I was like, Ugh, drowning. And a uh, mate of mine, he, he got hold of my head and literally he was pulling, pulling me by my head. And then they gradually got my arms and they just pulled me out of the, this sucking swamp. The book is a very personal account, with every incident depicted in detail. The locals had seen us coming, and some some woman had left a, a pot of tea for us. Giant, great, sort of one of these great big catering pots of tea on a fence post. They'd obviously, the locals had seen the Welsh Guards arriving, or two company arriving on the beach, and thought, yeah, right, here's the help, here, here they come, they're, they're coming to help us. And she left a pot of tea out. Will begins the artwork with a series of pencil sketches. He used photographs and diaries to recreate many of the images, others he produced from memory. So we were uh, moving through an unmarked uh, minefield and because they are plastic mines, um, obviously the footfall, our footfall was loosening the mines up so the marines who were behind us, they started getting blown up. So we heard this horrible scream. It sounded like a child screaming. I should always remember it. I sent a chill through everybody and everybody just froze because some light went up at that point because obviously the Argentinians had heard us. And actually you're supposed to stand stock still like that so that you don't you know, look like a tree. But aren't any trees in the Falklands? So I mean, we were just waiting the inevitable like hail of bullets, but it didn't happen. And then, this, then so, uh, I think a few hours later, this naval salvo started coming over and we were getting shelled. So it was, it was pretty hellish. Will is animating the stories for a documentary he hopes to make later this year. He hasn't shied away from the gruesome nature of war. It's like a horror film, really, but it's in your own mind. You can see it all, and it's just not very... It's, it's, it's those things that you see that you kind of... It makes you realise what it's all about. But I just think that it's very important not to pull any punches in a book like that to actually show the actual horror of what warfare is about and what it can do to people and how you can be affected by it. I just wanted to be accurate about it and uh, tell it like it is. It's, uh, it's a grunt's eye view of a, of a battle fought in 1982. The book and prints of some of the images are available on his website. Charlotte Cross, Forces News, London.